Boom, what it is YouTube, it's your boy here, Ali Fulati, back at it again with another video here on Fulati Fitness. You already know what's going on. But if you're new to this channel and don't know what's going on, this channel is me helping you guys elevate your lives mentally, physically, and spiritually. So if you're on that type, time and make sure you join the Fulati Fitness family, the gangway, by hitting that red subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, make sure you drop me a like and leave me a comment to help support this channel's growth. Of course, don't forget to turn on that post notification ring ring bell so you get notified next time I drop some heat for you guys. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the topic of today's video. You read the title. Today, we're going to be talking about why society is breeding weak men. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So your son has the same slack attitude as mine. <laughs> well, it's easy to get a little soft in times of peace. We're living in some good times right now, fellas. But these good times have made us weak. See, there's a saying that hard times create strong men. Strong men then create good times. Those good times then create weak men. And those weak men then create another era of hard times. This is a cyclical pattern that has been seen all throughout human human history for generations on time. We are currently living in times far away from the frontiers of survival, enclosed in comfort and surrounded by pleasures. Long gone are the days where we had to fight for survival, grow our own foods, and even go out and hunt. Matter of fact, we've come so far from the air that we're at a point where it takes just a couple of seconds and a couple of taps on your phone, and then boom, whatever the f you want can be right at your doorstep in the matter of no time what a time to be alive am i right and this just doesn't stop there guys instant gratification has seeped into almost every aspect of our lives today from social media video games the hub entertainment online shopping and much more this list of instant gratification driven activities goes on and on and the main thing it is accomplishing is to satisfy your itch and craving to get whatever you are desiring as quick as possible with the least amount of effort required. For example, let's talk about video games. Now, video games manipulate your inner masculine drive to want to level up. See, when you play these games like GTA, Skyrim, COD, 2K, whatever the f it is that you guys are playing, your main goal is to level up and dominate in that game. You work endlessly to upgrade your character, unlock new perks, and achieve accolades. These video games and software developers have run millions of tests to help them manipulate human nature. They know that young men have an intrinsic desire to want to level up in life. So with that said, they have created these games to fulfill that need. You now can level up in life from the comfort of your own bedroom, improving yourself in a virtual world rather than in real life and reality. Draining you of that energy that you can use to live up to your potential while at the same time boosting up the economy. And look, I'm not here to bash or be against video games. There's a time and place to have fun with it. But unfortunately, back to what I said previously, these developers have fine-tuned these games so meticulously to the point where it can completely engulf you, eventually zapping you of that same energy that you could use to upgrade in real life. And this can apply to all all the other toxic forms of instant gratification. All in all, at the end of the day, they are trying to rob you of your energy and use it for their purpose. Essentially leaving you with none of it to actually use to improve yourself. And guess what happens with that? You remain stuck in the same position in life for years and years, inevitably making you weak in the process. Now you might be wondering, why is this so? Why is society trying to make us weak? Well, I'm gonna break this down for you real quick like a brick pay attention see society's main objective is to remain in control of the people they'll say they are just there to make sure everyone and everything is kept under control for the protection of the people but in reality this is nothing but a smoke screen for the fools to be distracted by society wants power the power to control the power to influence and the power to remain in power and the best way to make sure that that power 
remains in their crusty little hands is to make sure that men stay weak. See, there's a saying that you are just fattening up a frog for a snake, which basically means to literally feed someone or something so they fatten up. And once they have become fattened up, they are nice and plump and ready for you to eat, as well as to make them too fat to be able to run off or fight back when it's time to devour them. And this is exactly what's happening in society today. See, as men, we have a secret weapon at our disposal, which is testosterone, mother f This is what makes you a man. Testosterone is the male hormone that gets you amped, driven, motivated, and all the characteristics that make up a masculine man. Without it, you are basically just a f***ing sloth. Just moping around life with no direction, no purpose, no aim, no sense of urgency, no nothing. And if you pay close attention, you'll notice that all these forms of instant gratification one way or another crashes these T levels, either by draining them out of you or draining it into something else. Things like porn or fast food are literally draining it out of you. While things like video games, social media, and other forms of entertainment is draining the remainder of what you had left into the them. It's no wonder we are living in a generation of men who are suffering from depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues. All those problems can be traced back to this. With all this comfort and pleasure around you, along with the lack of drive and motivation to get out there in life and get to it, us men have become those frogs getting fattened up for that snake to eat. And who is the snake you might ask? Yep. It is society. See, obviously they are not physically eating us, but they are eating away at your drive to push back against this bullshit. And with that said, I think it's time for some factorial facticians. See, if you've been up on game with the Fulati Fitness gang, you most definitely have been tuning in to my legendary Off The Dome talks. And in these videos, you might have noticed a dog in the background. And that dog is none other than my one and only Lola. See, to make a long story short, basically Lola got pregnant last year on accident. Yes, on accident. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. But she eventually gave birth to nine puppies. And out of those nine puppies, I kept two of them for myself, Buddha and Chandani. Now today we're going to be talking about Buddha. Buddha is a boy dog who is not fixed yet, aka the mother still has his nutsack. See, when you fix or neuter a male dog, you essentially take away their masculine energy and drive which is derived off their testosterone. This in turn makes them calmer, more obedient, and less aggressive. Now, since my boy Buddha is still left intact, he still has all these characteristics that come with masculine energy. There are times where you can see these traits start to show up. This is the second time you're doing this shit. For example, this motherfucker is always roaming off trying to do his own shit. And sometimes he gets himself into some nonsense. Whether that's chasing coyotes, running at squirrels, jumping into lakes trying to get at some ducks. He be wild and out from time to time. But this is in his nature. So when I tell him to stop, he has that inner masculine energy to go against me. Now I know he can understand what I'm saying. Because he'll turn back and look at me when I tell him no. But then sometimes he proceeds to do the exact opposite of what I tell him. Essentially what he's telling me by doing that is f off mate. And this doesn't apply to only dogs. Another great example of this is seen in the differences between a bull and an ox. See a bull is almost impossible to tame. They are pumped up with testosterone, super aggressive and full of rage. These are the ones that you see crackheads try to ride on and eventually snap their damn necks. While on the other hand an ox is known as the beast of burden. They are not aggressive at all and used for work, whether that's plowing fields or carrying 
carrying heavy things, these animals are easily trained to be under control. And the only main difference between these two animals is an ox is castrated while a bull remains intact. In simple terms, the oxen has its balls removed. So as you see, this phenomenon is seen in many creatures and is actually what is going on in society today. Now, obviously we aren't chopping off motherfuckers balls out here but with our modern day lifestyle along with other energy draining activities testosterone levels have plummeted to disastrous levels as you see here this is the real epidemic motherfuckers need to be talking about society has made plots and plays to do the exact same things in their own secretive ways see there's a reason why back in history when a tribe conquered another one the first thing they would do is kill off any men of fighting age then once that's done Done, take the women and children as slaves. This tactic was done to further ensure the control of their conquered people. They knew that women wouldn't and couldn't rise up to revolt against them. And they knew that if they got to programming these children into slave ship early, no one stood a chance to push back against them. Obviously we aren't having mass genocides of young men as of right now, but the same methodology is being applied to us till this day day instead of killing these men off physically society is now killing them off spiritually no need for bloodshed when you can hack into their mental state and crush their spirit from the inside along with everything we previously discussed society has surrounded us in environments that kill off the remaining masculine drive within us growing up in schools where majority of these teachers are females young men are taught and rewarded for being more feminine and scolded when they act in their true nature nature with their masculine energy. If you're a good boy and you listen to the rules, you're rewarded. But if you act out and defy these rules, you're put into timeout. This slowly programs the traits of being a good old boy which is essentially a weak man who will tolerate anything that he is told. Cause this is a mold of someone to easily manipulate and control. And it doesn't just start and stop in grade school. Let's just say you manage to slip past all this nonsense throughout your childhood and still remain intact with your masculine traits. When you now step into the real world, you're gonna notice that this system is now gonna be played against you. The people who are in charge of the world want to control the population. And the easiest way to do that is to remove the warriors from the populace. Thanks. That's all it's about. So when men try and act in a masculine way, they're toxically masculine. Mm -hmm. They demonize us. And then another way they do is they try and shame us. This whole nonsense of toxic masculinity or the use of cancel culture will be coming for your ass if you're not a good old boy. Corporate America, college, and mainstream media does not work for masculine men who don't want to be under someone else's control. This is where a big dilemma then comes into play. Essentially, to function within this type of society, you must abide to these ways, become weak, and give up your masculinity, or pave your own lane, create your own way, and and remain solid on what you stand for. See, it's easier to go with the societal norm. It provides you with a false sense of security, comfort, and a life of pleasure. But this is where they get you and trap you into your new little box. A weak, independent, good old little boy who does as daddy says. Giving up your masculinity and freedom to be a man in exchange for comfort, pleasure, and a false illusion of safety. Do as you please, but this is where the video will be shifting towards my guys who ain't around with this bullshit. See, society doesn't want to see you guys win because if you win, they lose. See, every revolt and revolution in history started with masculine men who said enough was enough and decided to flip the switch from Greece to Persia to Rome and eventually the creation of the United States all of these revolutions started off the backs of these brave men who decided to go against the system that was oppressing them now in today's day and age society has become smarter and smarter instead of the system blatantly oppressing their people out in the public eye they've attached many rewards of instant gratification and pleasure to distract the people of what's really going on behind the scenes they got you a treat for remaining a good old little boy while their plans remain hidden in plain sight. And once you finally wake up from this dream, it is so obvious to see this. Like bro, I ain't no genius. I'm just some guy talking in front of a camera right now. But the reason I can see it is because I decided to stay away from these distractions and pay attention. So if I can see it, 
you most definitely can too. But unfortunately for the majority of people out there, they just can't handle the truth. At the end of the day, that's what it is, bro. Some will choose to wake up from this dream while others will remain asleep. And I can't lie, man, society has played out some absolutely genius moves. Brilliant ideas and brilliant tactics to keep these people oppressed without them actually knowing it. But eventually, for the ones who do see this nonsense, there must come a time where we draw the line. Don't allow this to keep going on, bro. Stop tolerating this garbage that is put out there for you to remain weak. It's the point where us men finally say this shit where we actually will see change towards the right direction you watching this we're blessed to be a man now go out there serve your duty and do what is needed to be done to fulfill your purpose and embody strength like my jamaican brother said strength no weakness no do weakness that is a mindset you need to have. Listening to society's lies that it's okay to be weak. It's okay to be poor. It's okay to be fat. We'll get you f***ed up real quick, bro. Like what the f*** are you talking about? Just not so long ago, if you was a fat mother in your tribe, you was going to be the first one to get attacked by a tiger without a doubt. Fast animals, slow children. Come on guys, wait up. But now with this whole feminine movement that's so widespread and widely broadcasted to us, they're slowly trying to convince you that everybody is beautiful. What the f***? bro this has nothing to do with beauty you dickheads this has to do with your own physical health don't give into this bullshit, man you know this is not the truth do you want to die soon do you want to suffer the diseases that come with eating a western society diet let me answer that for you no no you don't like i previously just mentioned if you win they lose so the exact opposite also comes into play see when you order this garbage food from mcdonald's that is slowly killing you they are bringing in that dough and when you make your doctor visit because you're fat overweight and suffering from obesity they are stacking that bread and finally when that doctor prescribes you some meds that don't work and gets you on some type of fat diet they doing the money twerk on y'all my money twerk my money turn up my money flip my money burn up they cash doing gymnastics front flips back flips somersaults all that stuff like it's a damn olympics and do you benefit from that hell no you become weaker in the process and also pump up their economy look boys i'm on the same side as y'all so i want to see each and every one of us win so if you're one of these fat and weak men i just want to tell you bro it's honestly easier to stay that way it's easier to be weak. It's easier to remain fat. But is that what you want? An easy life of unfulfillment? I'm gonna throw out a wild guess because you're watching this channel and have made it this far into the video. No, no you don't. You want to be proud of your body. You want to be strong. You want to be the man that you've always wanted to be. And I commend you for that because that is exactly what you were brought here to do. You were brought here to embody strength in all aspects of life in your own unique ways whether that's mentally physically spiritually entrepreneurially financially economically anything you can think of you yes i'm talking to you were meant to be strong in all those areas so do as such my man and embrace the struggle because this is what will develop that strength you come out of your shell and you come out of your comfort zone and you run towards discomfort you run towards pain you run towards danger because you know that this will develop you into becoming stronger like my man tony montana said all i have in this world is my balls and my word and i don't break them for no one so stay solid and never fold because if you do as such the world is yours like i previously mentioned in the beginning of this video history always repeats itself it revolves around a basic pattern made up of seasons and cycles weak men have created hard times that are coming right on the horizon so we're gonna need strong men to lead us out of these dark times and eventually into a new era of prosperity so reject all that garbage that society is trying Trying to force feed you to remain weak and embrace the truth of what it means to be a man because it's finally time that you boss up champ we're gonna need you out there so don't let us down i'm counting on you man and i believe in you and with that said all my frontline soldiers salute back 
Woo. And that's going to wrap up the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you did and you still haven't managed to subscribe to this channel yet, make sure that changes right now. And while you're at it, make sure you drop me a like and leave me a comment of other topics like this you want to see discussed here on Fulati Fitness. Because I'm out here trying to provide you guys the people, education, entertainment, and enlightenment. I'm trying to build that interactive community with you guys. So go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. You got to give me that feedback man i need to know the pulse of my audience so talk to me i'll talk back of course before we sign things off don't forget to turn on that post notification ring ring bell so you get notified next time i drop some gold for you guys once again it's been your boy here ali fulati in the field in the flesh the young og dropping y'all that game so you guys can make these gains and i'm out of here peace